turn over. <laughs> oh shit. Don't let him move. If I can get that out, or you can get that out for me. But if he moves, he's gonna hurt me. Because that's in there. Can we turn him over? It's alright. Okay. No, I don't think it's the barbs in. You can get out with the line trick, but I gotta get this fish off this hook. Uh, tell you what. Let me hold him. If you can get the hook. Just beware when you pull. I'm on the other side of it. <laughs> if it does come loose. Yeah, the fleshy part on that. Ouch. Okay. Now you got it. It's a little easy, does it? Thanks, sir. All right, that's one last problem. Yeah, okay. It's in deep. I don't think it's in a tendon or anything. So, you know the fishing line trick? Have you ever done that? So I was out with my buddy Steve Benner that night fishing for striper. We were catching fish and, uh, you know, we both had a feeling that that striper was going to do that to me. And I was thinking about, you know, trying to make sure my hands were clear and he flipped in such a weird way and my hand just was there and he buried that hook right in the side of my thumb and it was straight down into the meat of the thumb, barb and all, nothing I could do about it. <clears throat> and I was hoping that Steve would be able to pull off the, uh, the line trick, there's a there's a method for getting these hooks out where you use braided line, you wrap it around the base of the hook, you press down at the where the hook is entered into your skin, and you have so much line, a foot or so, and you just pop it out of there. You have to rip it really hard. You have to really commit to that. Otherwise, the hook won't come out, and you'll just cause your you know you'll just cause pain for the guy who's hooked. And so Steve, he just didn't want to hurt me in any way, and he was he just. He didn't know if he could do it. So we, we found somebody on the bank. Uh, we, we knew some people were fishing at the boat launch there. And I found a guy who felt confident that he could do it. And uh, he didn't know me. So I, I think it actually worked out better that he didn't know me. So we, we did the whole thing here. We'll show it to you in a second where he wrapped the line. I pressed on it. And in no time, he had it popped out. Take a look. It's up to you. I think so, or right at the bend anyway, and uh, I have to press on it before you do it, and you should have a little more distance before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need to be further away, that's not, yeah, it works better in the, yeah, there you go, there you go, when you're ready really hard. You know, you got to pull it really hard and fast. No, I'm just trying to get oh, up there. All right. Ready? Yep. One, two. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Ta -da. He knew the trick. Count it on two. <laughs> <laughs> we just watched the video where they did that. <laughs> on three and then on two he did it. I always learn that one. I'd shake your hand but I get it all bloody. Thank you. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh man, thanks. You just saved our night. Whew. <laughs> Me too. So I'm so happy that uh, he was able to get that out. His name was Brandon. Brandon, thank you. I appreciate you getting that hook out for me because that saved our night. We weren't done yet. And the best part about it was we went back out and Steve then caught a, a, a 20 pound striper, a purebred, a 20.1 pounds biggest one of the trip. So it was definitely a, a good thing. If I wouldn't have got that hook out of my hand, my thumb, we wouldn't have been back out there. So that little trick can really save your butt. As long as the hook isn't like in a tendon or in some kind of strange, uh, you know, in a bone or something like that, it tends to work very well. I've had it done to me <laughs> more times than I'd like to admit, probably three or four times. My son did it a couple times, got it out for me. Um, so the trick works. It's good to know because if you're on a trip of a lifetime and you don't want to get interrupted, it's definitely worth trying that to get the hook out uh, rather than having to go and, and find a doctor or hospital or somebody to give you some kind of, you know, Novocaine or whatever they put in there to, to, to take the hook out, which is, you know, what a doctor's going to do if he sees it. So um, knowing that line trick can make a big difference. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there that show how to do it. 
Uh, the video you saw here probably doesn't show it very well because it's nighttime. Uh, I'll put a link to some of the videos that, that are out there. One of them is Kevin Van Dam, professional bass fisherman. He got he got a hook in his thumb, and they show the whole thing and how they pop that out. So uh, the first thing you do is you, you take the hook off the bait as best you can. I had a little a little plier, so I was able to get the split ring open and get the bait off of me so the bait wasn't hanging there anymore. And then uh, they're able to get to the hook, to the base of that hook, and, and pop it right out. Well, I hope you found it helpful, maybe even entertaining. If you did, don't forget, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll have another video coming soon. Looking forward to getting more content to you. Be safe out there, and as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.